moment it is the feminine's job to express genuinely how she feels because i think people have such a tough time well women sorry have such a tough time being genuine and not playing hard to get around a man and if mm. you're playing hard to get around a man you are not only stopping the connection but usually those relationships will fizzle out because you're not being yourself and you're not being genuine and so when i say express yourself i mean be genuine I like mm -hmm. tell him how you really feel because primal desire, like a man is coming at you with primal desire, right? With mm -hmm. his, I want you, I'm going to claim you kind of energy. And hunt and. <laughs> yes, exactly. The, what really sparks even more of this primal calling inside of him is you responding with your primal desire as well. Mm -hmm. Being like, yeah, you take me. Mm -hmm. Like you showing him that you want him to only ignites the fires even more. If it's the right guy for you, it will fuel those fires. Like primal desires for me, like if you understand primal desire, you can create chemistry and connection and intense chemistry immediately. Because I also believe that if there isn't immediate chemistry, it's probably not going to work. I understand that. Yeah, completely. And that's one of the things that I hear from you often is your shift in your own energy and your own primal desire to leave behind the guys that weren't ready to step up. So they, they excuse themselves from the situation and you are calling in a more masculine man. And you, you reference this a lot and it's a compliment I want to pay you is that you're owning that. Thank you. Okay. Well, I'm Sagittarian, so it's very Sagittarian to like, I, it used to be like shiny object syndrome. So it'd be like, oh, this one's better. Oh, this one's better. And never finding any fulfillment. Um, but it morphed into this, I expect the best for myself and I have high standards for myself. And even just saying that, like that, that's a vibe. And that's something that you can feel from another person. If they expect the best for themselves, that's you immediately, the, the value of that person automatically will raise in your eyes if they want the best for themselves. And so I just have that, like I want the best for myself. And I think by saying no, you keep raising your value on top of that. So not only if you know, primal desire does that increase your value because when a man knows that you understand him oh he will like something will activate inside of him not only when you want the best for yourself does that raise your value even more and not only by saying no to the things that you don't want that will keep raising your value and i promise you if you are devoted to that the more you say no instantly because you've created a space mm -hmm. He, uh, and the next one will come in it happens every time like a lot of my friends would used to say to me all the time are you sure like why don't you just give it a little bit longer and just like you know I, I don't want you to miss out Ros and I'm like I'm not missing out don't worry about me I know what I'm doing because I know what I want and I want the best for myself and immediately boom the next one comes in because I've created that space I'm not clinging on and thinking I'll just kind of keep him in the background until a better one comes along because you'll stay in limbo land. You won't move forward. Mm -hmm. And it's not genuine either. It's not authentic to think like that, to choose like that. No, it's not loving. It's not nice yeah. to be on the other end of that either, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're saying a few words in there that really piqued my interest. You're saying no, which sounds like you're creating a boundary, but you're doing it in a loving way. Ah, because there's a difference between, I believe, a boundary and a standard. So a boundary, usually people, here's the, the kind of typical person that will set a boundary. So it's a single woman, she's very like strong, successful, independent, she's been single for a while. I'm single probably because I let losers into my life and it's not working. So I need to raise the bar on the kind of guy that I call in. So I'm going to set a boundary but I don't know if you were watching my stories the other day, like what you need in that moment is not a boundary. Like you need to increase your feminine radiance so you can have more of um, a choice of the men that come in. What needs to happen there is more of a standard. Like 
I want the best for myself and this is the bar that I'm playing at because a boundary is almost like cutting myself off. It's like a, a barricade to intimacy. And if mm-hmm. you want deep intimacy and you want that sexual fire and attraction, you're going to have to open yourself up, not close yourself off and restrict. Set the bar high and open your heart. 